Hello YouTube, this is part two of how to install the lights. I originally was just going to show you when it was all done, but I think this part is a pretty important as well. So, we've got 15 minutes here, we'll see how much of it we use. Now the first thing you might see is you no longer see the Digitrax DH123. That's because I decided to use another DN143 IP, which I stole from my uh, Blue Line Mikado there, because I don't really run Steam that much anymore. And the locomotive is giving me trouble. So here we go, we got a DN143 IP, which is a lot smaller. Now, you're going to want to, I mean, you'll see there's a lot of electronic contact on there. You're going to want to isolate that. And I'll do so by giving it a bit of electrical tape here. We want to make sure we cover the whole thing. So there we go, we got it isolated and insulated, there we go. Now I gave it too big of a piece so I will carve around it and make it a bit more tight looking of a fit with the uh, exacto blade. Give me one second. Alright, well I trimmed it a little bit and should be a bit better. So now what we want to do is figure out the direction that the decoder needs to be installed. So, let's see here, I'll just plug it in. A little plug here. And now we'll plug in 9629 on the decoder thing. And once again, for some reason, it doesn't look like the light's going on. Which is probably because I got the uh, board in backwards. I'll just take the board out, put it in the other direction, and see what we get. Oh, I also have it off the track, that'd be why. So, let's see, 9629 and forward, that's running forward, and the light works. So that part we got right, now it's time to move on to the rest. So basically it's just a matter of getting this to all fit inside the locomotive, which sadly is a bit easier said than done. Also I'm going to isolate this right here to make sure that it doesn't short out. Well, you know, I think it'll be alright. So these wires we don't need. In fact, we can just pull the LED, the old reverse LED, right out, which I have done right there. So now we have a bit more working space. See, took the old LED out. I'll just store it in the box so it doesn't get lost. Next, what we want to do is make sure we got the holster for the LED. Bend the leads together a little bit so that it's tight when you put it in. And now we got a long bit of wire here that we want to um, wind up so that it does not interfere with the lights. So first what I'll do, I'll put a big piece of tape right up here on the top to make sure 
these wires don't go anywhere. This also should help keep the LED in place. So we got that installed. Oh, sorry, I bumped the camera there. Basically, I just put it all in, and then I've got the uh, tape around it. Hopefully you guys didn't miss too much of that. So now what we want to do is start sort of coiling this so that it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. The only, I mean, obviously you could cut it and then re-solder it and put it back together. But quite simply, I don't have those soldering tools, so that is not going to be an option for me here. So now it's just a matter of pushing this all together to make it fit. And use little bits of electrical tape if you need a little bit of help getting everything to fit in. Which I will do here. This little wire on the motor has been giving me a bit of trouble here. There we go. Here's the for you. So we're getting there now, bit by bit, get closer and closer. So then we're just still bunching this up together. The wires from these LEDs um, make it pretty easy actually. You just pinch it and it'll stay. lost our little also make sure your LED doesn't pop out of its spot just gonna push this tape down on here LEDs being a bit, this little bulb keeps popping out of there. There we go. Now I'm going to get a piece of tape here, and I'm just going to wrap it around the wires and resistor there, so that it's not um, just flying all over the place. And once you think you got everything um, set in there just the way you want it, also keep just making sure that light isn't out of place. You don't want the frame of the locomotive to come down on top of the bulb and create a problem. That looks good to me, so we'll do a final running test here and in reverse, although there's no light for the reverse, so it's not going to go anywhere. Once we've got that done, we just take the frame of the locomotive Set it on top there. And it looks like the light was a little too low. And uh, it's not lighting up the boards in there. So we have to take the frame back off and push this bulb. Oh, I see what happened. When the frame came down, it knocked the bulb out of its place because it was too far front. So what we have to do is just push it back a bit and try again. Still not quite uh, getting it there. Um, hmm. 
look inside the frame to make sure we're knowing what we're doing here. Alright, it's just a matter of getting it all to fit in there. I'll pinch these little leads together so they're tighter. And we put the little bulb in. Obviously this is a bit difficult because this piece here is broken. If it would stay in place this would go a lot smoother for me. Alright, let's try again here. And it's still not catching in there. I don't know why this is being so difficult. But see the problem here is there's a little glass, well not glass, it's plastic in there and it goes to the light and since this piece is broken it's making it hard to get that to go to the light, it just keeps pushing down. So what we need to do here, I'm trying to think, Let me first wrap this back up. Oh. Well, that's bad. This electrical tape is really bad. It's messy on all sides, making things tough. All right. Well, you know what we'll do? We'll pull this little piece of tape up here because it's not doing anything at all. We'll just bend this back once. There we go. Slide that in there again. must say I've been a little dis disappointed here with how difficult this is going. My SD45 was a lot quicker than that. And uh, there was three bulbs on there. This is one bulb and it's taken me half an hour. Now obviously I'm not going to race through it. But it shouldn't be taking quite this long. Oh my gosh. Ah! tape all over my hands. This is going be real obnoxious here actually. Okay, well, let's see what we can get here. Basically, you know how to put it together. If we run out of time here, I will um, show you what it looks like when it's all done correctly. Alright, well I'm going to call the video here, and this is, I mean, this is all you really need, it's just a matter of getting it all to fit inside the locomotive now. So, I'll have a video up of my Proto 2000 RS27 with this front LED installed. Uh, I'll post it in the description as a link, and also it should show up in related videos. So thanks for watching, and check out the next video.